Last night we were at about right about 200. But he took those tables off too. That's not doing coach a lot. That was so much. Hey, should we play a shorter set? Because we lost about third of the curve. I'm a little bit proud of like. We finished at 1230. We finished at We lost like a little bit of the crowd. Like You're always going to lose people. Like people get drunk. Like uh, Does it matter? Should we just keep going? Yeah, but you're still. My name is Ben Jaber. My name is Michael Hall. I play accordion. My name is Danny Rechtenwald. Paul Dvorak. I play fiddle. My name is Dan. I'm the drummer. Jonathan Pitcher. I play guitar, tim whistle. Jimmy Bastard. Supreme Fjord. Ruler. Executive. CEO. Anything else that's really high up there. I play guitar and, and, and sing. I write all the music. Matt Major and I am the band's manager. <laughs> do you know they got banned from Station Square? No. Yes, I do. Oh, because of the fountain incident. <laughs> Have you seen the video? <laughs> Bastard so and Irishman played one of those Friday uh, parties down at the uh, Station Square, and Jim crawled up on top of the pavilion. And then Danny, I'm fairly sure, was mostly naked in the fountain. So they're like, you guys are banned. I'm like, that's awesome. You got kicked out of an entire area of town. I was listening to their CD yesterday. I'm like, they need to have their music on either Sons of Anarchy or Ray Donovan. Yeah, definitely. Rise of the Bastard is their newest CD. And uh, pick it up iTunes or at their website, too. Or go see them live. Jim is the principal songwriter and the resident goofball. He is like the leader. Uh, he's, he's very optimistic all the time, very positive. Even when we're not doing a good job at like breaking down or taking our time, like be a little drunk, he's, you know, he's clapping behind you going, good job guys, good job. Stoker, he is just extremely passionate. Uh, he doesn't let me rest. He's always, you know, did you email this guy? Did you do that? Why aren't we on this show? Stoker uh, is uh, old reliable on the on the drums, and he's a he's an excellent drummer. Mike picked up the accordion out of nowhere uh, after he was our, our guitar tech for a while. He's a workhorse, very genuine, nice guy. Um, he's a great guy to have in the band. John uh, is a rock and roller. He adds a flavor on rhythm guitar that. Um, I don't think a lot of people um, could mesh. Ben, extremely caring guy, um, very lovable. We'll say yes to anything if we ask him. It's existed this long because we're because of the history of friendship that we have. Everybody has their little quirks and things that they do, um, except for Danny. Uh, yell at everybody during rehearsal and tell them uh, that we need to get better and uh, practice more and practice harder. Next question, please. Danny, the mandolin player, is probably one of the funniest people I've ever met. Um, just so much fun to be around. We've all pretty much grown up together, went to high school together, except for Paul. Well, I'm the new guy. I joined about a year and a half ago. He's a great guy. and. Um, yeah, together we are um, a bunch of bastards. They all grew up together, so I've heard all their stories uh, the last year. They started playing in a band in high school, at least Jim, Ben, and some other friends. Ben and I, the bassist, were in a band for, it has been 18 years now? 19? And we started when we were in 
middle school, punk rock band, Ragweed, great band, check them out. They united after they lost a friend, George, in a car accident. We wanted to dedicate a performance to George, uh, who was uh, a dear friend of ours, and we weren't really sure how to do that. Um, and then it just uh, came out of nowhere that we were gonna do Irish music. We decided to do a memorial show for him every year. About three years into it, we kind of just said, hey, you guys wanna do eight, 10 Irish songs. So that's what we did. Um, pulled it together, did eight traditional Irish songs, and um, Ben came up with this stupid name of the Bastard Bearded Irishman. And after that show, we were kind of like, hey, that was fun. Do you guys want to do another show? And Bastard Bearded Irishmen were born. Uh, we all had beards, and I'll, I'll never forget it. Jim was like, uh, well, we need to come up with a name. We don't have a name. We need something for this one night. He's like, we'll just call us the Bearded Irishman. And I said, we're the bastard Bearded Irishman. I now work in radio, uh, and one day we needed an Irish type band for the morning show during St. Patrick's Day weekend. So I called up Dan Stover, the drummer, and I asked him, I said, hey, you know, would you guys want to come on the show and play? And after a while, they got back to me saying they'd love to, and he was also asking about management and stuff. And at that time, I had absolutely no interest. They came up, they played the WDB morning show, and I just was floored by how good they were. So I instantly said I'd love to work with them. And we've been together since that day. Jim wrote 99% wrote of the songs. I wrote one song. One song. I write the skeletons, and um, the rest of the band likes to add flesh and meat and, and arteries. We do play traditional Irish, and then we play Irish rock, Irish punk, but we're starting to play whatever we want and break away from uh, just a genre of just Irish music. I'd say a mesh between like Dropkick and Flag and Molly style punk Irish rock to all the way to like the Dubliners or the Pogues. And we've been having like a klezmer gypsy sort of influence. I think we're pretty much world musicians. I love a game we play. It's it's basically called Pass the Paper or something. It's not really called that, but you I write a sentence, I write the first line, I give it to Danny, he writes the second line. And, and we like to do things like that, just to see where if we could tell a story and all go in a path. Being in that room where we're all like, Jim was like, listen, I got this idea. Here's my part, I'll write, you know, I wrote a sentence, you write the next sentence. So we were all just going around, it was very much a team effort. And he'll send them to us, a very cheap recording he'll make at his house. And we get them listen to them, then we show up to practice, and then everybody adds their own two cents and it, it evolves from there. A couple of guys have kids in the band. It's hard to explain how like cool it is to be a father. To see our kids run around to our songs is one of the coolest things. And they have so much fun and and they love it. Having two kids now and stuff kind of really started to, you know, need more of my time and attention. And um, that, that was a, a, has been a challenge for a while. I'd say the biggest challenge the band has had is, is we've had two members that had to uh, quit the band. Um, both were on, on great terms. The hardest part about leaving the band is coming to grips with the fact that um, not going to do this anymore, or at least for a while, until I figure out, you know, what's going on. I guess my biggest hope for myself and the band is maybe they get to that level of success where they're not 
filthy rich, but well, I love them to be filthy rich, but they don't have to have day jobs. That they, they can just concentrate 100% on doing their music and uh, and the band. I do just like to write music, and um, you know. I'm hoping that I can continue doing that. The relationship with people that enjoy your music, there is, there's nothing like it. Whenever you look out in the crowd and you see people throwing their fists up in the air at the exact right time. Definitely seeing the crowd like flip out and yeah, totally get into it. Since they started and since I've joined, it's just been getting bigger and crazier and busier. If this would end tomorrow, this has been the greatest experience uh, playing music that uh, that I've had, probably more than, um, than I ever really anticipated when I started playing. Danny's not coming around, is he? Because he kind of scares me a little bit. I go to a wedding or something, and I look like a caveman because I'm dressed up from here down, and then I look like Jesus head. You know, it's like not good. I'd say some bad things about me if you want. Give it up, give it up, baby.